What is up you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're watching this, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you already know what the mullet run is. If you don't, just go ahead and give it a quick Google. Basically, from what I understand, every year, a bunch of mullet migrate down from one of the Carolinas, I'm not exactly sure which one, but they migrate down the east coast of Florida all the way to South Florida to spawn, I think. I've been seeing people post about it on social media and I uh, decided to load the Forerunner up with a bunch of gear and I'm gonna be sleeping in it tonight. I don't really have a plan of where I'm going. I've just seen people post on social media a certain area, so I'm gonna head over to Stewart and I think I'm just gonna work my way up the coast and see if we can find them. If not, I'm sure it'll be a really fun video either way. So I'm gonna head over there and uh, I guess you guys will see what happens next. <laughs> All right, so this is the fourth beach axis that I've checked so far, and I haven't seen anything, but I figured I would just get out here, throw some lines out. I kind of like the spot, and uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. It's always good to do with a uh, freshly yeah so uh, that's the exact reason that you want to just cast it out with a weight on it because I just lost probably like five dollars a tackle right there I don't know why sometimes a freshly spooled conventional surf casting reel it will just do weird stuff like that so what I'm gonna do now is just tie a weight on because that way, if it happens again, I'll just lose a weight and not an entire rig like I just did. I'm gonna make a couple casts out there, get the line wet, and then we'll get to fishing. All right, let's try that again. This time, I'm gonna keep my thumb on the spool. Yeah, we're good. I don't know what happened that first time. Let's re-rig and get out there. So that's kind of a long leader for casting, but I don't really care. I don't think I have to get that far out anyways. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was uh, not very far. You know what? We're gonna go with it. We'll see what happens. A lot of stuff. I mean, honestly, it just hangs out right on the beach anyway, so. Let's go get the other rod rigged up. Go with this dude out her. Okay. Now I can just sit and hopefully one of these baits gets eaten. I'm gonna recast this thing. I'm gonna try something different with the weight too. See if I can get some more distance out of it. Not saying that right on the beach is bad, but just wanna get it out a little bit further. All right, so I'm gonna try this setup, the spider weight. Supposedly, when it hits the water, your bait will come off and then the weight will sink to the bottom. Not sure how true that is, but you can definitely get more distance with this, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll definitely cast further for sure. Back to waiting. So that big rod will probably get eaten by a shark, which is why I put such a heavy leader and big hook on there because 99% of the time when you throw a giant mullet out in the surf, a shark is gonna eat it. And since I haven't seen any tarpon or anything around, I figured uh, it'd be better to be safe than sorry. What? It's still there. That's a little shark. He's going crazy out there. Come on, little buddy. I think he came off. I think he came off. <laughs> He's jumping like crazy out there. Well, I know that the uh, the rig works. Still got my mullet on there. It's not tangled up, so Let's go ahead and toss it back out there. <laughs> Yeah, that was either a little black tip or a spinner shark. 
Doing sharky head shakes. You never know. You never know. Let's see what you are. I'm guessing a small shark, but I don't know. It kind of feels a little heavy. It's pretty strong, whatever it is. It can't be that small. Did he come off? Like he came off. He did come off. Well, guess we'll never know. Hmm. That's weird. I'm intrigued now. I'm gonna throw another bait out there. That guy over there just ran in the water. He yanked both of his kids out. And now the whole family's over there pointing at something. I think they saw a shark probably. I always find it really funny when people come to the beach and they just go jump in the water. And then if you catch a shark next to them or if they see a shark, they like freak out and they're like, oh my God, there's a shark. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it's the ocean. It's where they live. Uh, something's messing with it. This might not be a shark. It's strong, whatever it is. Yeah, if it was a tarpon, it would have jumped by now, probably. Off. What is going on? How do these things keep coming off? This is crazy. At this point, I just have to catch one of these sharks just because. This is ridiculous. I didn't cut through it. I don't know what is going on why I keep losing all these sharks. I don't think I've ever lost as many sharks in my life. The only thing I think is because of those hooks, they're kind of small. Maybe they're not really getting them very good in the corner of the mouth. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully whatever we hook next, we can keep it button. This one broke. That was a big shark if it broke off. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was probably a big shark. Well, I've got some more rigs that will definitely uh, hold up better than that. So I guess we're just gonna get back out there. So that last leader was like 12 feet long and the line broke at the braid. So I have a very hard time believing that that shark was uh, over 12 feet long. I mean, you never know, it is the Atlantic, but I think maybe it got wrapped in his mouth or something. He also took my last spider weight, so he's got to make do with this, I guess. And so this leader setup now has a 300 pound mono, and I don't know what size the circle hook is, but it's a bigger circle hook. All right, I'm calling it. I've been out here too long. If you guys are anything like me and you go on fishing trips and sleep in your car and sit out on beaches for hours without catching anything then you know how annoying it can be to have to stop and get food but thankfully that won't be a problem for me right now thanks to today's video sponsor me 
myself because I bought myself a bunch of MREs so I don't have to stop and get food. I had to put the sunshade up because the uh, camera was going to catch on fire. So, All right, so after much debate, I've decided to go with Italian sausage with pepper and onions and marinara sauce. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's inside. We've got dry roasted peanuts, cranberries, a trail mix recovery with beef jerky. I'm not really sure how that works, but crackers with cheese spread. We've got a beverage base orange type too, which I'm pretty sure is just like an electrolyte powder, probably like Gatorade. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my water right now and give it a little shaking. That's really good. It tastes like orange Gatorade, but almost better, honestly. And we've got the main meal. There's also a couple other little things in here. There's freeze-dried coffee, creamer, sugar, a moist towelette, we got some matches, some napkins, and a spoon. They don't even give you a fork. Well, I guess you don't need a fork. But. And then you've got your uh, heating element, which I don't know how this works, so I'm gonna have to figure it out real quick. All right, so I'm gonna get this bad boy heated up, and then I'll try some of the other stuff while it's heating up. This is do not overfill, but I definitely overfilled it a little bit. All right, so now we gotta wait 15 minutes for that. Oh, it's making noises. All right, well, while that is doing its thing, we're gonna try some of this other stuff. I don't really want the peanuts. Let's see what these cranberries are like. They're good, they just taste like any dried cranberries. Next up, the trail mix, recovery with beef jerky. Beef jerky with raisins and almonds in here. I mean, it's not bad. It just tastes like if you took raisins and almonds and beef jerky and threw them in a bag. Beef jerky tastes a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Something going on there. Next is the crackers, the cheese spread. Let's see what kind of crackers we're working with here. Oh yeah, baby. Look at those bad boys. I don't know if it'll focus, but it's like, it doesn't look right. I mean, I'm still gonna eat it, but. I think it tastes good. It just looks disgusting. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Everything's pretty good so far. I'm gonna keep snacking and then I'll get back with you guys once that thing is done cooking. That is actually really hot. A lot of people say, oh my gosh, it's hot. <laughs> a lot of people say that they, uh, the ones that you buy off of like eBay and Amazon, like these, um, the heating things don't work too well. It's gonna overcook my Italian sausage. Well, there's definitely sausage in here and quite a bit of it. Just like everything else, it's good. I mean, I don't know, it tastes good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and finish all this up, and then um, I think I'm gonna head north. I don't know why, I just feel like that's the way to head, so. I'm just basically driving up Highway A1A, and uh, I don't know, if I see something cool, I'll stop, so. I guess you guys will see where I end up in a second. So, something I noticed that might be a problem is the weather is so bad. It is like crazy windy out, and the entire Indian River Lagoon, which is right over there, is like three foot waves right now. And that's where I was planning on camping and fishing overnight. So I don't really know if I'm gonna be staying the night. It might be totally pointless, but we'll see what happens out here. There's like nobody here. Big rod going out. Did not go very far. Whatever. Oh yeah. And he's off. There's definitely a shark. Get another bait out there. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. I'm getting absolutely destroyed by no CMs right now. This is crazy. I don't think I'm gonna make it too much longer out here, you guys. <laughs> I mean, I can deal with no CMs pretty good, but this is intense. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm reel up now. I've been out here for four hours now, and I just had that one shark run, so. I don't think it's gonna happen, boys. Sorry, I couldn't produce a big fish for you guys, but hey. 
I'm a realistic YouTuber. What can I say? We don't always come out and catch monsters every time. I'm gonna get everything packed up. Back in the car, drive three hours back home because I don't really feel like spending the night out here because the Indian River Lagoon looks like it's got three foot white caps and uh, I'm not gonna be able to fish that, so. As always, I appreciate all of you watching and I will see you guys next video.